<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. Look, vultures. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's go! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! It's clear, Marshal.
That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Oh my good God! What the hell? You and me gonna have ourselves some fun! There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Are you kidding? Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Let's go! Get on your horse, boy! All right, let's find those bastards. Let's go! What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated Double. transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Wait. Who's that up there? 
You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Give yourself up! Right, that was close! Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> 